Hi, my name's Mark Anderson. I'm a solutions engineer at Cisco Meraki. And for this Meraki Minute, I'm going to be walking us through a project I've been working on recently, which takes data from the Meraki platform and runs it through Google's Time Series Insights API for anomaly detection. The motivation for this project is that there's a lot of data available to our customers via APIs within the Meraki platform. So data covers topics such as physical sensor data, so temperature, CO2 levels, air quality, and also network data, so things like bandwidth utilization or the number of clients that are connected to Wi-Fi. And it's useful to provide to use machine learning algorithms to provide insights into that data, so things like anomaly detection or forecasting. So for the purpose of this demonstration, we're going to be using Google's Time Series Insights. Um, this is a solution that provides uh, a machine learning algorithm that's off the shelf, it's easy to use, it provides unsupervised machine learning for either categorical or numeric data, uh, and is ideally suited to what we're looking to do, which is to take large volumes of data from either an IoT environment or from networking data and to provide insights into it. So for the purpose of this demonstration, I'm going to be taking temperature sensor data from the Meraki platform and running it through Google's Time Series Insights API for anomaly detection. And the benefit of this is it provides us a more intelligent way of setting triggers for anomaly alerting. So rather than manually setting triggers for what we perceive uh, an alerting level um, should be set to, we can set those anomalies based on historic data when we see our incoming data in real time going beyond what our machine learning algorithms tell us uh, we think it should be at. Okay, so let's go ahead now and take a look at how this project works. Um, so we start off at the left-hand side of the screen with our temperature sensor. So I've shown a Meraki MT10 temperature sensor here. I've actually got four temperature sensors within my organization here, uh, and my script is going to detect all four of those. But however many you have in your organization, they'll be detected by our Python script, and the uh, temperature readings related to them, the historic temperature readings, will be brought in using the Meraki dashboard API. So the Meraki dashboard API is where we make available much of the data within the Meraki platform uh, via API. So once that data is pulled in by our Python script, the next thing the Python script is going to do is format that data into a, a data format that the uh, Insights API can consume and push that up into Google Cloud Storage. So for every sensor that we detect, we're going to create a separate data set in the correct format within Google Cloud Storage. And that's then going to be uploaded into the Time Series Insights API. Um, we've then got a time series which uh, Google will uh, operate machine learning against, train the model uh, and make, then make available uh, the API for making uh, appending data to that data set and also making queries for anomalies against that data set. And that's what we're going to do next. We're going to start taking uh, data, real-time data via the Meraki dashboard API uh, taking that data and appending it to the relevant data set and at the same time making a query against that data set as to whether that reading is anomalous or not. And the way we measure anomalousness is to take the expected value, so the, the value that the machine learning algorithm uh, has predicted using that trained data set uh, and measure whether the number of standard deviations our actual reading is from that predicted value. Um, so I've set a value of two. So if we're more than two standard deviations away from the predicted value, then that's considered an anomalous reading. And when we get that anomalous reading, uh, we're then going to alert um, our consumer of uh, the alerts, which in this instance is myself via Cisco WebEx. So I've created a, a team space within WebEx specifically for receiving uh, alerts about anomalous temperature data. Okay, let's go ahead and run the script now and see what it does. Um, so I'm going to be running this in Amazon AWS on an EC2 instance, no, re no requirement to do that. Any uh, platform that supports Python will suffice and the script is kicked off with a simple command which is python3anomalydetection.py. 
Um, and one piece of data it's going to ask for is the number of days of historic data that need to be gathered. So this is the data that's going to be used to train our machine learning model uh, within Google. So this is the, going to form the basis of how we make forecasts, how we predict what data points should look like, and how we measure um, standard deviations away from those predictions. So what's going to happen now, and this could take a little while depending on how many days of historic data you've asked to be gathered, the Meraki software developer kit is going to start requesting um, the sensor reading history. Um, so we're going to uh, scroll through uh, different numbers of pages as we go through. So as we approach the end of this process, um, I'm going to put or have his already put uh, one of our temperature sensors onto a radiator. So I'm going to expect to find when we start making live readings um, of temperature uh, uh, readings, we're going to find anomalous data associated with that. So at the end of the script here, we can see we found a number of sensors. We formatted that, formatted that data and uploaded it into the time series API. So on the screen now, on the right hand side, we have uh, Cisco's WebEx platform. I've created a space um, which will be receiving alerts as and when they come in. So if we take a look through some of the data that's arriving now, um, you can see we're now looking to receive uh, the latest sensor readings um, from the Meraki dashboard API. Um, so we're going to take sensor readings periodically from all of the sensors that we've detected, all four, including the one I've put on a radiator that we should get anomalous data for. Um, so let's take a look at what we're seeing. So that the first reading, um, so for sensor ending VHF3, um, doesn't look particularly anomalous. So there's a, a predicted uh, temperature of 14.5 degrees Celsius. The actual uh, reading is 13.13. And that's deemed to be uh, not particularly anomalous. So there's we are a single standard deviation away from um, the expected data point. So that one's not going to alert us. But when we take a look at the next one, ending ZN23 there. So this is the temperature sensor that I've placed on a radiator. So this should be the, the actual reading, the actual detected point of 33.63 degrees Celsius is well outside our expected our forecast reading of 17 Celsius. So this is the one that we'll, we expect to be anomalous and indeed we can see it's almost five standard deviations uh, from its predicted value. And um, so if we look over onto the right hand side we can see that there are indeed uh, alerts coming through for this particular sensor owing to that uh, sensor reading of almost well 33 and a half degrees. And all of that's been done without actually having to manually go into the sensor uh, and figure out what kind of temperatures it typically resides at and what would be considered anomalous and what would be a, a good trigger to, to alert against uh, a particular temperature reading. So in conclusion, what we've seen there is a relatively straightforward and simple way to use machine learning to provide insights into some of the data that's been produced by the Meraki platform. Uh, and in this instance, we've been using temperature data from our sensors to and the Insights platform to provide us with anomaly detection um, for that temperature data. If you'd like to find out more about it, then feel free to visit my GitHub site at the URL on screen just now and download it for yourself and have a play around. Thanks for watching.